Nine Heights Rider. Lock in the US Woodland today. Um, just got this from James. Um, very nice little camo pack in it. It's so faded. I think it's one of the original ones. Um, anyway, enough about that. That's going to come into one of my uh, little kit bits. Uh, today I'm doing a review on all its golden slice. Uh, very, very nice little tobacco this is. Um, it's not the most outstanding tobacco. It's not the most outlandish. And it's certainly not one that, you know, it doesn't reach out, slap you in the face, or grab your attention. Or, you know, out, stand out in any way, shape, or form. It's just a very simple, straightforward smoke. Um, which I think is the beauty of this smoke, and I think that's why I really quite like this. It's not, you know, flamboyant, you know, the most... It's subtle in its to like freak tones. It's a full-bodied smoke, but it's not too much. It's a safe bet, but it's an enjoyable safe bet. And um, like I said before, I think this is going to be a um, regular addition to my pipe tobacco rotation. Do mainly tobacco that like that. Yeah, I'm running out of it. But um, this one really did get me, despite the fact it's not, you know, it's not all singing, all dancing, which I think is the beauty of it. It is just a very standard but very respectable tobacco. Oh, no, no, no. It's a warm smoke. Not too warm. The bowl gets a little bit um, on the toasty side, but it's warm enough. But it's also cool enough to you know, smoke quite comfortably and puff out. It was very nice to be able to um, light this up at the range and sit there in the cold, happily smoking this. Not only that, you've got yourself a nice little hand warmer. Um, when you're smoking it, taste-wise, it's mostly the Virginia I taste. Um, there is some sort of side notes of Perique, but it's only when you retrohead that the Perique really comes out, and it's again not a big smack of it. It is subtle but present. You know what I mean. It's not over the top. You know, so even people who are a bit new to Perique should get on with this quite easily. Eating content wise, um, I don't think it's too bad. Um, recently I've seen to be quite sensitive to nicotine at the moment from pipes, which is why such flakes like Bob's Flake I can only smoke a little bit amount, a little bit of, which doesn't help when I'm trying to smoke it out of that. So um, this is now my flake pipe, which could be for golden sliced, full Virginia flake, things like that, because it's a nice, nice, you know size for a flip. And it means I want to use too much of it either, which at the moment I'm skimmed. Um, it's an all day every smoke, all day every day smoke for me. Um, I'd like to keep it that way as well. This one I can take out and enjoy in a beer garden, despite the weather. And it's also one I can sit at home and smoke whilst mulling stuff over working or heaven forbid actually having some time to myself and playing the xbox <laughs> i've yet to get a church warden but i would like to try this in a church warden as you can see i'm still using mr 7.62 Um, I had to check that one the other day because I thought it was a live one. 
Well, no, that's a DX one. <laughs> I have done that before. Used a live round to tamp my pipe, then looked at it and realized, oh, crap. <laughs> So the smoke itself is fairly straightforward, although very enjoyable. The tobacco, though, well, as you see, it comes in a rather nice little tin. I think that's what kind of leapt out of me. It was a nice tin. I like red. Uh, something else as well. A uh, little piece of paper on the inside with a piece of card. Most tobacco people would just put in a plain bit of card. It, again, it had pretty much that on the inside, which was a nice touch. Hmm. See, now that smells very nice. It's almost like a... Um, I live in a very rural area, so... You know, I, you know, there's fields either side of the house, and apart from the smell of horse shit when they fertilise the fields, you get a very nice smell in the summer of corn, wheat. And it's almost like a haystack. But a tobacco y haste. The actual tobacco itself, though, what it looks like is a um, giant Weetabix or a large shredded wheat. But again, I do like that, it's got its charm. As opposed to nice long strips of which, you know, um, with my Paul Virginia Flake came in, I found the other one. Which I'm going to do a review on. If I haven't already, I'm not sure. I might have to check that. But that's nice, but it comes in these long strips uh, when in the packet, which I then have to sort of tear along. This one, however, if you look in there, I just work off the sides, and then you know it comes out about two tears, and you're done. There we go. Try to get into the habit of trying to keep this semi lit whilst talking and not having to torch it to get it back alight. Um, the tobacco I got, I'm not quite sure how long it was on the shelf, but it doesn't feel too dry. Not too moist either, but it doesn't feel too dry. Might experiment and try and, you know, put a bit of moisture in there, but not too much. I might just leave it in there for just a day, maybe slightly less than 24 hours. Um, but it does rub out really well. I mean, it rubs out splendidly. And I always do it over my tin as well, because you always get those little tiny bits that fall through. That, put it on a piece of paper. You know, I use those, stuff it up, packed pipe, and then all those little bits make really good tinder, which is something I've kind of um, just sort of realised um, over the past year smoking a pipe. Um, when doing a flake, always keep those little tiny bits and don't dust them off because they do make very good tinder and you get a much better light off your pipe. There we go. Um, for people wanting to try out a flake, um, you know, people who don't normally smoke flakes, want something a little different, I would definitely recommend this because it is, although it's not the, you know, it's not a bland tobacco and it's not an outstanding all singing all dancing tobacco, the beauty is in the simplicity of it and the fact it's very straightforward. So I would definitely recommend it for someone who wants to try something a little bit different but they don't want to jump in and say you get a giant dark flake. They're not too keen on, you know, the aromatic -y sort of flakes like, um, which one was it? Fire Dance Flake or Bob's Flake? Which is kind of an acquired taste, although they are very nice. And I've gone out again. There we go. When not gassing away and talking to YouTube, it does actually stay lit pretty well. And you don't actually need to relight it very much as well. Again, that's always good. I always find if I keep on having to relight tobacco time and time and time again, I just scorch the tobacco and it doesn't taste as good. There's no worries on that one with this stuff. There's not an awful lot more I can say. It is just remarkable but simple. 
and also very enjoyable. So with that, um, I think that just about covers everything. I'm, I'm going to enjoy the rest of this and enjoy my cold as well. It's Lonely Pipe Frogger in his new US gear. Signing off. Toodaloo.